So my independent lab was with the piano. Um, so I wanted to test the three foot pedals on the piano and see what they did to the sound. And so my hypothesis was the right pedal. Well, so first I like uh, tested out the pedals just to see like to my ear what it sounded like. And so the right pedal uh, it will last longer and will be louder than without any pedal. The middle one. I thought it would be louder, um, but would be the same amount of time. And the left one would be shorter and softer than the other pedal. All right, so some background. Well, you guys are probably know this now, but amplitude is sound pressure, which is like the loudness. Um, frequency is pitch, but uh, the pedals didn't change the pitch at all, so frequency was not needed in this one. And then decibel scale. Um, so normally, zero is um, what most humans can't hear anymore. So like that's where it's inaudible. But you can also uh, show it as zero is the sound a instrument <coughs> will uh, emit like unaffected. And so then if it's negative, that means the sound is attenuated. And if it's positive, then it is amplified. So I'm using that scale with the piano. Um, so this is my diagram I just had my piano and put a microphone on a stool next to it and plug it in my computer. Um, and so <coughs> for the data, what I did is I took, uh, so there's seven octaves on a piano. And uh, I chose three notes from each octave. And I chose uh, C, C sharp, and D, because I wanted to do a, uh, a uh, sharp note. And I also. When I was messing around, I noticed that the middle pedal switches between C sharp and D on one of the octaves. So I wanted to be able to demonstrate that. Um, and so then, so what I did is I, uh, so I, so I um, recorded playing each song, uh, each note with about the same force for each. That was obviously um, kind of hard to do, but and so I did that with no pedal and then all three pedals for each. <coughs> note on all seven octaves. And so then, um, if the notes were the same, then I calculated the average, uh, well, so they're the same for all the pedals besides the middle one. So what I did is I calculated the average um, um, factor that the time changed for each note from the original. So as you can see, with no pedal, it's just one. Um, and then I averaged them with the uh, notes and then averaged the octaves. So for the right pedal, on average, the, um, the time was increased by about, uh, set, was about seven and a half times greater. And it was about um, 1.25 times louder. And for the middle, it, I, <coughs> when doing my data, I realized it switches um, in the third octave of the piano, um, from C sharp to D, um, it switches its uh, <coughs> purpose, I guess. So above that point, it actually has, it's supposed to have no effect, and below it, it ha it's supposed to have pretty much the same effect as the right. And so this is so you can keep the bass line um, playing while you do stuff on this time, on the uh, like solo part without it uh, staying and getting like muddled in the sound. Um, and so, so for this is the part where it's supposed to be, so I took the overall, but obviously this is skewed because half of it is different than the other half. So I did the unaffected. So this, these both technically should be one. So that's about a 7% error and that's like 1.4% error. And this um, is the other, uh, is the lower side. And so actually, it, it was not as strong as the right pedal. Uh, I wasn't quite sure if that's with all pianos or if that was just with mine. That, but there was like a strong correlation that the middle pedal from the third octave down was not as strong as, was not as long and not as loud as the right pedal. And then the left one um, did make it um, last for much shorter of a time. But it actually uh, was still just as loud which surprised me, but um, it actually, this says it's even louder, but I think it, that's probably um, some error. Um, so for error, 
It was, I couldn't really calculate any error because there wasn't very many equations and I couldn't find like a given value for how much, like the factor that each pedal changes a note. But um, I there was the error for the, uh, I know that there are some sources of error like the, the recording, obviously I could have, I mean that's probably not strict, um, that probably has error in it. And also the analysis, I had to, uh, I had to, time it out because notes the notes would uh, play for a really long time so I chose like a, a given like le uh, 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 volume I guess or like loudness when I thought like basically the note was done playing but like technically it probably kept going for much longer than that um, and yeah so calculate besides the unaffected middle one calculations weren't really possible and so finally, for the con conclusion, um, what I found is the right pedal does make it uh, last longer and slightly louder. It actually didn't make it that much louder, but it does make it last longer, so my hypothesis was correct. For the middle pedal, like I said, um, the third octave, um, it changes at the C sharp it, and it stops uh, basically doing anything. Um, and below that, it's kind of acts like the right pedal, but not as uh, loud and as long. And then the left pedal it is shorter, um, but it has the same volume or loudness. Um, and then it's actually cool if you look, um, I can open the top of my piano. If you look in, you can kind of see how they do everything. Like they, um, they have this section, they have it sectioned off at the uh, third octave. Um, and so when you push a pedal down, I didn't put this in my presentation, but um, so when you put the pedal, uh, when you play a note, it has the, there's strings on the piano and this little hammer comes up and hits the note, and then it has this uh, this thing, it's like felt or something that come, that uh, uh, will stop it from ringing um, after you, so like when you, it's, it's hard to explain, when you press the um, key, this, this like <laughs> stopper comes up and a, uh, a hammer like shoots up and hits the, key, the string. So it plays and then the stopper goes back down so it stops. And then when you press the pedal, the stopper stays up so it keeps ringing until, it, um, until you either let go of the pedal, this is for the right one, or you stop the pedal. Or I mean, or eventually the sound will just uh, quiet out. And so then for the third octave, they have like, they put it up into two sections, so at this at that point, um, the middle pedal only affects the left section, while the other, se the other um, four octaves are unaffected. And then the left pedal, it actually um, moves all of the hammers slightly over, and so then it hits it not directly on, which makes it uh, shorter and softer. So that was kind of cool to look at. And that's it. Question? Uh, what kind of piano do you have and how large is it? Uh, I have a baby grand piano. Okay. That's cute. Because on like the, the left pedal, um, it's usually hard to hear with the baby grands and smaller than like the grand pianos, they definitely get quiet. Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably why. My piano only has two pedals. Why? Um, because the middle pedal isn't as used as most. Um, they just yeah. take out the middle one and leave the functions of the left yeah, and right. Yeah, okay. Because those are the primary. Like a lot of people don't even know what the middle one does. Um, it's kind of cool to use now that I know what it does. <coughs> uh, so when it switches, does it switch at like middle C? Uh, that's what I was. That's what was weird. Is I thought it would switch like at the beginning of the next octave, but it, no, the C of the third octave still. Um, was affected, it, and the C sharp was, and then it was the D that didn't, um, that was unaffected. So like an octave down? Or up. <clears throat> so there's seven octaves on a piano, and so the third octave up from the piano, Okay. Yeah, at, no, I from it. switching from the C sharp to the D is when the middle pedals stopped um, affecting the sound. Is holding down a key after you play it equivalent to holding down the pedal that sustains? Yeah, because when you press a key, it uh, 
like I said, it lifts the like stopper or like this little like felt thing that stops the sound and it hits it. And so that thing will stay open, will stay up as long as you have the key pressed down. And then when you let it go, it'll drop. And then when you hold the pedal, that does it, it stays up for you. All of the pedals. I mean, all of the stoppers stay up. Until you, you press release the pedal. When you like press the key, you said a hammer comes up. So like if you're just holding the key down, is the hammer still touching the cord? Uh, no, so, okay, so each note actually has three little strings that go and so when you press it, there's like a hammer that's like right here. And so when you press the note, it goes, that goes up and this thing goes up. And so then they play and then we <coughs> release it. This goes down and this goes back down. So the hammer's still like touching the wire though. Like when yeah. you're holding the note. The hammer flies the hammer just It like over swings. Okay. Yeah, it just hits. And, and okay. So it continues to have some velocity. But then the stopper's held up. Right. Okay. Do they all have three strings? Yeah, so okay, so that's why, um, so the left one, when you press it, it doesn't hit all three, it hits like, it shifts and hits like two or maybe like one, that's why it's quieter. Oh, fascinating, thank you.